Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 4th video VCP7 uh, data center virtualization 2020 and this is about adding VMware ESXi 7.0 host to VMware vCenter server 7.0 so why you need to add the ESXi host to vCenter server uh, for example if you got a data center in which you have a hundred of host for which is running VMware ESXi and you want to manage those infrastructure which is running in your data center you have to have a vCenter server which provides you feature to manage all your ESXi host from a single console so that's why you require to add uh, your ESXi host to vCenter server if you are running more than one uh, more than one ESXi host it's going to give you feasibility to have a easy management so in this video we, we got basically four servers of so the first server is win2k19 dc01 which is my active directory and dns server so my domain name is labsandson.com and uh, the operating system which is running on my domain control is win2k 2019 so if i go here you can see this is my domain control active directory and dns role running on this machine and win2k19 dc01 and my domain name and the operating system of the active directory dns server and the second thing uh, which is my vCenter server itself which is actually running on my ESXi01 uh, which we have deployed in last video part third video of this series so this is my vCenter server which is INVCSS01 and this is running vCenter server uh, appliance 7.0 and the IP address and this is the domain so if I go here you can see I have logged into INVCSS01 which is my vCenter server and I got two ESXi hosts which is ESXi01 and ESXi02 and both are joined in my uh, lapsand.com and you can see the IP address and both are running on 32 gig of memory so if I go here the first thing you need to add uh, to add your ESXi host in vCenter server you must need to create a DNS a host record so you can add it by the name uh, from the from any domain machine so it's resolved a domain name so uh, FQDN for the virtual machine so if I go here and try to ping my ESXi host so ping ESXi01 you can see it's getting resolved on the FQDN and if I go and resolve for 2 uh, this is also resolving FQDN so this is good so now we can stately go and add these two ESXi hosts to my vCenter server so I already logged in and this is my data center which I have created which is called india pro so I'm going to add right click on it and add host so if you see here it's going to ask your name or IP so I'm going to provide the name here which is ESXi01 so click next and it's going to ask you the credentials so I'm going to put root and my credential and now it's going to give you the host summary so uh, this is running on vendor uh, VMware uh, and model this is showing VMware because I am running on VMware workstation 15 that's why else it's going to give you the physical model number of the server make and model number basically and this is the uh, telling you the version version number uh, version uh, build of the ESXi which is a VMware ESXi 7.0 and the virtual machine we got one virtual machine which is INVCSS01 so this is itself a vCenter server so click next and assign a license if you have a license definitely you can assign I'm running on evaluation mode so click next and lockdown mode go ahead and use the disabled and this is going to be VM going to be placed inside the uh, India hyphen prod so this is good just click now you got everything set up here and ready to complete so just click on finish now you can see the task is running add a standalone host to vCenter server so it's going to take some time and meanwhile we can go ahead and add our second ESXi host here so just click next and then put the credential root credential to log into ESXi host to create a communication and then you got all the details so this uh, ESXi host does not have a virtual machine so we can see it's not showing any virtual machine name so click next and leave the default next and lockdown mode also going to be leave default and this is going to be VM location place so I'm good with this so ready to complete just click on finish so it's going to take some time and now you can see the ESXi01 is added and you can see all, all the details here like capacity for the memory 32 gig and you got the processors you got the how much capacity storage this machine have and other details also like you can see the hypervisor 
uh, version ESXi 7.0 and also you can see the virtual machine status uptime nick and ev everything from here and if you want to have a management you can if you go to data center you can see you got two hosts and one virtual machine and one data store only and this is so this was the very quick video of about adding the ESXi host to vCenter server and next few videos we are going to have more complex video where we are going to configure the ESXi networking data store and everything so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always always email me on this given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye